I'm currently updating Fortnite to play uh, with my homies later after after I hit this intense leg day, of course. And uh, I have a little word with you, you little scoundrels. Uh, you guys have not been taking out your stopwatches when when I do the chug. Like uh, only one person is is commenting about the chugs, and you know who you are. I think your name is like Nick or something like that. Or I'll, I'll remember your name, but. <clears throat> Listen, you, 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 you little, you little goddamn, I don't even know what to call you. Uh, you guys got to take out your damn stopwatches and, and record how long I chug. Just because it makes me happy when I see the number of seconds I, I chug in the comments. And it makes me feel like you guys are actually watching my videos. Um, but yeah, so you better take out your damn stopwatches to uh, tell me how long my chugs are, okay? You goddamn buffoons. Alright, but yeah, like I said, it's a leg day, and uh, the plan for today's leg day, we're gonna pro we're gonna start off with squats. I have, like, the idea of this leg day in my head. Uh, then do some dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, then uh, some double leg leg extensions, and then some seated leg curls right and after that we'll hit some calves so so it'll be a compound compound then uh two isolated um workouts and then some calves i, I haven't hit legs in eight days i don't think I, I it's been that long since i've hit legs for years literal years I mean, it's only been like two years since I started lifting with weights, really. But yeah, I haven't really missed that long of a time for any lift in general, for for anything. Isn't that crazy? I, I this this freaking my sister's wedding ended my damn streak. God damn it! I, I I've been I was good for so long, and now now uh. <laughs> Now, now we're uh, we're we don't have that streak anymore. So let's uh, get to the Boshi Mobile though. Uh, I had a Rice Krispie uh, before uh, talking right now, so we're probably not gonna have the honey because I'm trying to save the honey. And you know, you guys know me, I procrastinate quite a bit, uh, and uh, I gotta go fast because the homie's waiting for me at 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 the gym. Uh, so. We're gonna have a little lift together, kinda. I mean, he's hitting back. I'm hitting legs. So um, yeah, I gotta go fast because I gotta let him in the gym because I have the guest. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get going. All right, we're in the Boshi Mobile. Uh, let's start uh, building our pre. It's not really building. It's more like what would you call this? Ma making our pre. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Who cares about the terms? By the way, if you guys are wondering uh, what my weight is right now, now I am 173. I think at the start of this, I was 163. So 165 or 163, around that. So we've added either 8 to 10, around the range of 7 to 10 pounds, I would say. So uh, that's, I would say that's pretty good. Uh, like I said, I can eat. I, I, lo I freaking love eating, dude. Um, Cause you know, like I gotta control the portion size when we're on the lean bulk, so we can gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. So when we do, also by the way, the plan for this, uh, the end of the bulk, right? Once we finish this bulk, right? I get to the desired weight and look, I wanna be. Cause I kind of, I don't even take the the weighing scale as a sense of measurement. I kind of look at the mirror as a sense of measurement. Cause like. I want to look good as I'm pushing good weight as well. So, um, yeah, like I, I try to take those two into factor. Cause let's say, wait, let me let's do some shaking time really quick. All right, you know what? I'll probably talk about this as I drive. So let's do shaking time and uh and uh chugging time. All right, get your damn stopwatches out, you friggin' scoundrels. All right, ready? You guys have them out. All right, three, two, one. Go. Wow. <clears throat> I think I did that pretty freaking quick. <clears throat> I hope at least my my estimation is that it was pretty freaking quick. I think adding a little spin to the bottle before before chugging helped. 
I usually see people do that. I didn't expect it to actually work to help. Maybe it's because it like kind of funnels down like this into into my into my mouth. All right, let's get driving, and I'll tell you what my logic is on how I cut down after a bulk, in a sense, or go up to a bulk. Or you get what I mean. Before I give my logic on bulking, cutting, lean bulking, and all that, look how how nice the weather is. Like it's that that it's like that light drizzle, you know, that makes. That makes the streets look like RTX Minecraft. <laughs> All right, but um, on to uh, the topic of uh, lifting and and uh, how how I bulk, eat, lean, bulk, cut, whatever it is. Um, but the way I look at myself, right, is usually through the mirror. Cause here's the thing: let's say I get to my goal weight, right, and I look in the mirror and I'm not satisfied with the amount of mass I have on me, right then what's the point? I'm not satisfied with how big I am, right? So I'll likely prolong the bulk or let's say I've, uh, I, I, I look too, I know it usually be if I just um, was too, looking too small for myself because it's not usually a case of where I over bulk unless, unless you do just start like freaking leaning down. That, that's usually the best solution, right? Um, but yeah. If, if I'm if I'm trying to lean down like for example the end of this lean bulk right where I was completely uh, like I felt like I was pretty diced looking right my abs were fine uh, I was having a bunch of striations right I was satisfied in the mirror and I was satisfied with the weight I was pushing because uh, I was pushing a good amount of weight for the weight I was which was like 165 around that or 163 but I was pushing a good amount uh, for the body weight I was but either way right once I've reached that mirror satisfaction and weight satisfaction that's when I really start to progress onwards or or lean down back so so at the end of this bulk well let me just say at least for the case that is at hand now now that I'm bulking right end of this bulk let's say I get to um 210 pounds right now I'm gonna start leaning down, of course. But the thing is, I'm gonna be lean bulking down. I'm not gonna be cutting. I'm gonna lean bulk down. So what that means is I'm gonna eat at a caloric deficit, but at a caloric deficit, and onto where I'm only losing fat, uh, gaining muscle still. So I'm not gonna lose any of the mass I've gained. That's the thing I really don't like about cutting, right? You you kind of you kind of get a good amount weaker. Right, so with the lean bulk, I'll still be able to maintain the strength I I, I gain from the bulk. Right, so that's kind of my idea on what I'm gonna be doing for this. So the the leaning down portion of this will probably take a while, just cause it's not easy to lose a lot of fat really quick uh, and gain a lot, a, a, good, a decent amount of muscle or even maintain it, unless you're on some fat burner or whatever which obviously I'm not gonna be doing because I'm a natty guy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Okie dokie. We're gonna start off uh, with this weight. So uh, 315 plus 20 pounds, 335, right? 315 plus 20, yeah, 335. Okay, hopefully this feels pretty light. If it does, we'll increase the weight. But uh, I'm looking okay hyped. Let's, let's get this going. One. <laughs> Holy flip, that was pretty freaking good. You know, I might actually, I might keep it at that weight, and then next time we do squats, I'll increase it and do six reps. All right, so we got uh, two um, 
very halal individuals spotting us for this set, right? Well, what I'm gonna do for this set is I'm gonna do my working set first, right? After I do my working set, I'm gonna have them help me with some assisted partials so I can really, you know, destroy my legs, right? Uh, so this is the last set, by the way, just letting you know, this is a heavy set, and I hope that doing this two set variation of squats where it's like really heavy, but I go really intense, will help my legs grow quite a bit. But yeah, let's, let's get flipping started, man. Come on, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, no way. Oh, God. Hey, homies. Flip. You should wear a shirt where it won't slip, bro. You should better bar this piece of shit gonna slip off your back. Yeah, for real, though. But hey, we got it. I did, I think, five extra reps. I was supposed to. That's pretty freaking awesome. Oh my god. Let's get dead, guys. Uh, uh, woo. Holy flip, dude. That was a nice freaking set. Uh, I can't even sit down like this. My legs are burning. Uh, I feel like a freaking gorilla right now. Uh, Alright, let me just go here. Woo! Right. Oh man, all right, let's go move on to some R Romanian deadlifts. Oh boy, squats were pretty freaking good. Man, it, is, it feels nice to have the strength back. Just letting you know, it feels very freaking awesome having strength again. Let's go. All right, we're gonna do uh, some Romanian deadlifts for two sets. For, I think, oh, shoot, I gotta see how many reps I gotta do it for. I think 12, 12 reps, right? Uh, freaking sucks, because the 135 pound dumbbells are still not there. I gotta talk, the gym owner comes in sometimes. I gotta talk to him about that, because it's a pinching, a, not pinching a nerve, that'd be bad. It's, it's, a, it's striking a nerve on me. Sometimes I'm really bad with my uh, sayings, but, you know, you get what I mean. All right, let's... Flip and hit this. Hoop! Holy flip, dude. That was pretty freaking easy. That's, that's kind of crazy. All right, homie, silly time. All right, we taped five pounds on the side here. I, was, I, I could have done 2.5 on each side to make it more distributed. But the thing is, like, I'm not trying to waste that much duct tape. And also, it's a lot of freaking, you know, taping and whatever. It's too much work. Um, so, yeah, this is 135 now, so... Let's flip and do this. Uh, probably gonna do a, two more sets. I, I said two sets, right? But uh, I'm probably just gonna do three sets of RDLs now. I feel like I've been talking, I've been conversating with a lot of the people here. So uh, I've been wasting time. So let's not waste any more time, all right? I think we got him to do three more reps. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 
No way. All right. Let's do one more set. All right, players. We got extra trucked up for this set. Um, hopefully, we can do more reps because I uh, also got these uh, wrap thingies my gym has. They're not really straps, but uh, they get the job done. But, um, yeah, let's bug these out because I want to try getting more focused reps for, my, for the RDLs here. Dude, I was fighting in that set. Oh, God. So let's move on to uh, some leg extensions. All right, homies. We're doing some leg extensions now. So I'll quickly do this. I'm probably going to do uh, three sets of this. And then um, we'll move on to the... Sorry, that those Romanian deadlifts took a lot out of me. Um, but uh, we're going to do... Hamstring curls. Let's see the hamstring curls after this. Let's get started. last flipping set so for this set I'm gonna do my working set to failure I'm gonna have a young man nice young man here he's gonna I mean he's probably the same age as me so uh, a, a homie a homie's gonna help me How old are you? <laughs> oh, I'm 19 really yeah wow. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna probably go for around 10 reps I'll tell him to go and he's gonna help me on the co-centric I'm gonna do the eccentric all the way all all by myself, right? We'll probably get, probably hopefully bust out like five of those. And then I'm gonna drop set to a heavy weight where he's gonna help me with one of the co-centric and eccentric as well. I've said it many times, but you know, I gotta get it down to the new viewers if there are any. All right, let's start. All right, I'll start helping. Just with, yeah, like this? all the way. All right, I'm gonna do this by myself. Okay. All right, go up. It's better if you help from there. Oh, ah. Yeah. Ah. yeah, there you go. And then all of this by myself. All right, up. Ah. One more, one more. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. Let's drop some, let's drop some. Uh, God damn it. It's on me on the coast center. All right, go. All right. Oh. You don't have to help me here. Oh. Let's get two more. One more. Oh, oh my God. Ah, ah. Oh, all right, that's good. Ah, oh God. Oh, that burns. Holy fuck. Oh, that is one good freaking set, dude. Thank you, G. Oh, oh boy. It's time for the goddamn sweat in the review. Oh man, something tells me the sweat's gonna be quite prominent this time. 
I was quite right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Look at that contrast. <laughs> you can see where the measly were, definitely. Oh god. Holy flip. That, that, that set of leg extensions was really flipping good. Oh my god, that burn is literally what I strive for. If you saw, my eyes freaking widened, dude. I don't even know if I could get that last rep in, but we, we were able, luckily able to control it. There was no way I was getting another rep, by the way. And if I did, like, it would just be a useless rep. He, the spotter would have helped me the entire time, so it would just be, it would be nothing. It would equate to nothing. Uh, I mean, it's probably not true, but I think I did a good amount, is what I mean. But definitely went to failure there. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, uh, sorry, I'm just out of breath. Uh, let's try to do some seated leg curls. I'm gonna probably do two sets of that, and then uh, we'll go on to calf raises, and then we'll check the pump. We got no shoes on, cause I'm not trying to waste any time. I'm just very lazy. All right, let's slip and do this. <laughs> That went very well. One more set, then we'll do that drop, heavy drop set. Maybe even get some assisted reps or assisted partials. I mean, same logic as a drop set. I mean, the last set that we did on leg extensions, just this time we're doing it on the uh, leg curls. So let's get flipping started, guys. <gasps> Down. All right, down. All right, down. No. Okay. All right. Drop set. What the freak? Uh. God damn it. So I'm a mechanical engineer. We just fixed the mid sheen mid set, guys. <laughs> Something go. Down. Hop. Are you there? Hop. Yeah. Three more. Hop. Two more. Hop. Oh. Right. One more. Oh. You good? Yeah. Oh shoot. Yeah, My bad, G. Uh, machine hit him. Yeah. Guys, make prayers for him. Uh, but let's, uh, we did. Holy flip that. Oh my god, that was a freaking hard set. My hamstrings. Ah. Ooh. I feel like a little, little guy doing, kicking my legs back and forth. Do I look like a cutie patootie, guys? Alright, let's do some calf raises. So I did it. Uh, calf raises is already for five sets. This will be my sixth. Uh, and I actually, I've actually been doing abductors in between this just because, you know, I, I've been, I've been doing a little bit of research, you know, le learning about, you know, the muscles and stuff. And abductors are really good for support on squats. So if I want a mean squat, I got to start working out the abductors. And I've been hearing a lot of people power lifters and just heavy lifters in general at this gym this is a power lifting gym there are a lot of people stronger than me like i gotta catch up guys but um they, they've been telling me for a good squat abductors are are pretty freaking good to do so we're gonna have some massive legs at the end of this bulk that's for sure all right let's flip and do these <laughs> Also, you're probably wondering why I didn't record 
there is other sets. First reason is because it'd be too much, like, I feel like it just would get boring doing six sets of calves. And second, just because um, if I'm doing six sets, right, then next week, I, I won't even need to hit calves. If anything, I, would, I wouldn't have to hit them for that many sets, right? Because usually, this is how I kind of think of it. Recovery is kind of like a progress bar, and usually my calves tend to be sore within that st same week because, you know, I hit them pretty hard. So if they're still sore by the time I'm hitting legs again, they're obviously not fully recovered because I feel the soreness. So probably be like 70% recovered, right? So I would much rather hit them very intensely when they're fully recovered, right? Or over recovered, you know, than when they're not recovered. Because obviously that could be prone to injury and just wouldn't be good for the sense of muscle growth and even strength as well. Because I feel like if, if you get injured, you can't even work out, <laughs> um, at least my calves. But uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't want to, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I was also going to say, the fact is we haven't hit legs basically in eight days, which is, it'd be more like, no, it would be eight days. No, it would be more like seven days because it doesn't matter about the time length. We just haven't hit legs in a while. So I just needed to hit them pretty freaking intensely just so we can have a good set, a set of calf raises, right? Or good sets of calf raises rather than not hitting them and them being weaker after a long time. Luckily, they're still pretty freaking strong. We just did five sets, no, six sets of 15. Um, but yeah, let's uh, check that flipping pump, guys. Honestly, why don't I just record the set of abductors and then we'll check the freaking pump. Shoot that flipping pump, guys. All right, homies, before we check any leg pump, wait, let me angle this a bit better. We gotta check the upper body pump. All right. You know, my back might have a bit of a pump because of those uh, uh, freaking dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. Ugh. Oh my God, I feel like I smell like poop. <laughs> All right. Okay, just fell to the floor. <laughs> All right, let's check this. Hmm, not too bad. All right. Let's get a better clinch. Ooh, that was pretty freaking nice. Let's see if it looks any different. I mean, probably not going to see anything much, but hopefully it pokes out pretty well. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. We didn't even hit legs. So, I mean, upper body. Let's let's do this freaking leg pump check. Let's pull that out. Okay, let's check these. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty freaking good. That was a nice side pose. You can definitely see the freaking size on it. I feel like they're pretty freaking pumped. Doing abductors definitely make it look larger. There you go. That looks pretty nice. Oof. Can you see any of the hamstring? Okay, that looks pretty nice. Let's check these calves. I know they're pumped. <laughs> All right, freaking look at that. Hey, let's angle it a bit more down. Right. Can you see it that way? Yeah, there you go. Ooh, look at that. Hey, let me angle you guys a bit more. If you can't even see me, there you go. 
Holy flip, dude. Look at that. Oh my god. I gotta shake the other one. Dude, it's like, it like, just. <laughs> Look at how it just like freaking forms in front of you. It's like a freaking metamorphosis. That is nice, dude. All right, my calves are looking pretty freaking sassy. Might as well, well call me a freaking uh, Alfredo Pasta from Olive Garden because we're pretty freaking sassy. That was really, that was a really stupid uh, joke. All right, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else much to be said. Uh, we've been here for quite a while. Uh, I'm kind of, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll say it. Came here at 10.30. It's about to be 1.30. Uh, that's, that is, that is, I would honestly say that's remarkable of how I'm able to even conversate with someone that much. I just really lose my grasp on time uh, at the gym, which is, like, I mean, nice, but, like, still, I, you know, I still got to eat when I get home. And I also got to, also got to do, watch One Piece. I got to watch some One Piece. Oh man, here the Minecraft was in the back. It's perfect, perfect way to check the pump. All right, I'm gonna really start doing abductors too more on leg days, cause um, I really want my squat to be very, very scary. Like, I wanna, I, I wanna be that person where you see them lift that way. Oh, uh, he's probably doing a squat hold, and then I start repping that. You know what I mean? I wanna be that type of guy. Hopefully. I mean, hopefully that, that's, that's the results that come out from this uh, very intense bulk. Um, the cut shall prove to be revolutionary in the fitness industry, I hope. <laughs> Gonna do it all naturally, of course. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get home. I gotta eat. I can't waste too much time yapping about everything. Holy flip, guys. I feel like freaking Batman right now. Look at this fog. Like this is looking, you know, this is gonna look freaking sick. Look at this. All right, can you see it? There you go. Look at look at the lights in the fog. <laughs> oh man, it's the Batmobile, but white. But it's not even a Batmobile. It's a Ford Hybrid, I think. Ford Fusion, whatever it is. It's a nice car. But yeah, holy fuck, that leg day was pretty freaking good. Definitely gonna do abductors more. I I freaking love the the feeling of that pump. That pump check was pretty pretty. Pretty noticeable difference since last leg day's pump check. I mean, last leg day, or just in general, the leg days I've had um, during the lean bulk, right, uh, weren't as freaking saucy as this one was. But yeah, let's get in the car. We gotta, gotta head home. Look how freaking aesthetic this looks. Dude, that's, that is some, <laughs> it feels so freaking nice driving in, like, look at that, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like I feel like Batman right now. That's what I feel like. I am vengeance. Alright, we're in the motion mobile. Uh, let's take the melatonin gummies first because I want to go to bed soon. Alright. And then now we're going to take some creatine. Got a lot of food before this. Luckily, I waited like an hour, and now I think it's well enough digested where I can go to bed comfortably with for better digestion. I think there's stuff about that, like where digestion happens better when you're awake rather than when you're sleeping. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Right, let's take this creatine. Mm. Mm. <sighs> All right, let's take the vitamin E fish oil pill and um, biotin pill. All right, now let's take the ashwagandha gummies. I don't really have anything to say. I'm just munching on gummies right now. 
my legs are sore right after this leg day, by the way. So I know it was a good leg day. That's that's for sure. All right, zinc C and D gummies. And I know I'm gonna be sleeping well tonight. Any any leg day where your your legs any no just any leg day after a leg day, especially at night. If you finish at night, right, like I did, the the slumber is next level. Honestly, I probably didn't even have to take melatonin. I, I'll, pro I'll probably knock out in the first, like, 10 minutes of me trying to go to bed. All right, magnesium gummies. Legs just tire you out, man. Freaking crazy. Nah, water. Not a lot of water today. And don't worry, guys. Cinnabon's here. Will Will's sign off with her. She, she may have a few words to say. Alright. Let's tend to see Cinnabon. Doop, doop, doop. Cinnabon? She's looking at the wire. Uh, what are your words of wisdom for today? V very well said, Cinnabon. All right. Uh, can you say goodbye to the c viewers, Cinnabon? She's she's also bulking, guys. She's trying to eat you. All right. Um, Let's uh let's sign off. All right. Goodbye. <laughs>